Hey, hello there. In this video, I'm going to be creating some character animation using some vector animation software. I'll be using Moho Pro 12, although there's a lot of other software out there that can do the same thing. This just happens to be the, the one that I've got. So here's an example of the uh, character sprite I'll be creating. I've got uh, eight directions of movement going on, uh, using 12 frames of animation for each direction. And this is just sort of a default sprite, so no clothing, no hair, nothing like that. So that I can add details onto it later on, like armor, clothing, colors, hair, any of that kind of thing. Just a template. I think it does need some fine-tuning, so it's maybe not finished, but it's uh, it's reasonably good for now. Okay, so this is Moho, and I've just created this basic character model here. And I've rigged up all the parts to this skeleton. Here's one of the animations playing through. So having created uh, an animation, I'll just export it as an image sequence, and then it's reasonably easy to just create a sprite sheet out of it. So just testing out different speeds of animation on the map here to see what they look like. So when creating these, I found it really useful to have this eight-way marker beneath the animation just to keep everything on track, particularly with the three-quarter view animation. It can look really off if the, the feet and the legs and the shoulders aren't aligned properly. You get a, a running animation that looks like it's trying to move in one direction, but the, the game engine is pushing it in a slightly different direction, and it looks kind of slidey or floaty or however you want to call it. So I found that this, this helped to prevent that. All right, so here are some of the layers, and I'll just run through... Uh, how I would go about creating some variation on a character like this. So after I've created this uh, default model, if I wanted to then create some variations, so here she's wearing a, I don't know, a brown suit or something. And I could just save that off as another image sequence. Let's say I wanted to add some hair. Just create a new object and make sure I've got it locked to the same bone as the head. So I'm just adding a, I don't know, a shoulder pad here, I guess. So right now it's not tracking with the rotation of the arm, so i got to make sure that's locked in there. So it would be easy enough to just build an entire armor set or clothing set on top of the character. Or even to switch out some of the body parts themselves if I wanted to just use the skeleton animation and create a very different looking character. Different head shape, different torso shape, or enormous arms or something like that. Alright, now before creating any of the actual animations, I made sure to create different poses for all the different angles that I would need. So some of these can be mirrored, so that I only needed to create five of them. So I'll run through animating a short cycle here, just very quickly. The side view is always the easiest, so I'll start here. It's just a matter of setting up a few keyframes. And then tweaking some of the in-between poses. Now this animation is only 12 frames long, so I think I probably ended up tweaking just about every pose a little bit. Or every frame, I mean. Alright, so I'll just uh, render and export these as an image sequence. There's another animation. Okay, so after exporting all the animations, I'm using Photoshop to put together the sprite sheet here. So I'm just loading it all up here. There's the down animation the side animation, and the rest. So by exporting these uh, these files at a really huge scale like this, when I shrink them down to fit onto the tile sheet, or the, the uh, sprite sheet, you'll get a nice smooth anti-aliased look around the character. I'll just briefly show the sprite sheet I'm using that I came up with at the end here. Right, so uh, loading that back into RPG Maker, uh, there's probably more than one way to actually get this working in RPG Maker, so I'll leave that to you to uh, choose your own <laughs> method there. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful.